Hello everybody and welcome to another video inside of Jurassic World Evolution. So today I want to make some more enclosures here for carnivores. We currently have Giganotosaurus and Allosaurus ready. So I'm going to at the moment focus on getting uh, those dinosaurs in enclosure. So right here is kind of the main path of this whole area. So I am going to... Add in a viewing platform right here so that it can uh, see pretty far uh, out. So I'm going to make one enclosure kind of right here and then another farther back up here. And then this viewing gallery will be able to see uh, both of the enclosures. So I'm going to place that. I think about here is probably a good place to put it. Okay, now I'll put a path right there. And now I'll start making the, uh, the actual enclosures. So, it'll just, it'll be pretty simple. I'm actually going to, uh, line this up with the, uh, I'm going to line this, uh, viewing gallery up with the enclosure just so that, so you see the enclosure uh, fence right here? It's perfect um, against the path. So I, I want it to be uh, like that. So I'm going to bring this out here and then... Uh, yeah, yeah, that seems good. That seems good. All right. Now I'll just bring this down here. Maybe all the way up until... Up until here might be good, because then this probably could cover, if I'm going to guess, three enclosures, possibly four. Uh, yeah, it really depends on what dinosaurs I'm putting in there. But yeah, this since I'm doing fairly large carnivores, it will be uh, three enclosures, I'm going to guess. So, I'll bring this enclosure fence right there, and yep, we have one huge enclosure right here, and then I can about evenly separate these into uh three so i can do that and then yeah yeah that seems good that seems good all right now a slight issue have i ran out of power would seem i have all right well i can do improved output 3.0 and then outage protection 3.0 here okay and, uh, can I add, alright, I'm gonna add some upgrades to here, outage protection 3.0 twice, and then improved output three times, alright, there. And then, here, yep, everything seems, uh, all good. So, is there another power station right here? Yeah, there is, and that's all good. Alright, I'm gonna send the ranger team to resupply that. And that, okay, a lot of the feeders are going to need to be uh, resupplied very, very soon. So I have to be prepared for that. Okay. Now, can I put a viewing gallery right in here? Okay, yes, I can. That is very, very good. Uh, I can only put it right in here. It would be really nice if I could put it in right here. Is there space? Maybe I could just... The smallest area... Okay, wow, I fit that in. Alright, that is a very, very good. Okay, so I'll release the Allosaurus and then get the ACU team to tranquilize it. And, hmm, I'll have to look at its statistics, but if I'm going to guess, it might have to go in one of these bigger enclosures because this one looks just a tiny bit smaller. Okay, that's a decent amount of area, but if that can cover about half of what it needs, then it could probably actually go in there. I'll, I'll have to see. Um, okay, I'm going to prepare all these enclosures right now. So that's the water, and then the carnivore feeder can go here, here, and here. Then I can add in the water in these two enclosures right there. Then I'll shrink that there and shrink okay there we go and now i'll be prepared for the allosaurus to be tranquilized any second now there we go uh i'm gonna try out 
this enclosure. If this if this enclosure right here is enough, I will put two of the dinosaurs that I'm gonna assume take the most amount of space. Alright, I am going to have to make a new Hammond Creation Lab area. So I'll just make this temporary area. It's probably actually probably gonna be for Oh wait a minute, no, I don't have to do this. What am I doing? Oh, vehicle destroyed, that's nice. Uh I I can do it in here, so I'll just start incubating some of the big dinosaurs. So um Indominus Rex. That's a lot of grassland area. I think I'll put Indominus Rex in one of them. Alright. So camouflage. Oh, that doesn't really What? If it's on default, then its viability is 75%. Or 95%. Oh. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> uh, the, yeah, that was a little bit confusing there. Um, I'll do confined space 3.0. Uh, stress. Definitely gonna have to be lowered to 59%. Then social. Social is fine. And then... I'll do a little bit of lifespan... Alright, I'll go into the light, into the attack tab. Alright, 100 lifespan. That seems pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's still a huge amount of area, though, so that's not really, um, it's not really the greatest. I'll skip the indoor after for now. I'll go to the Spinosaurus. Alright. Uh, attack... Have I even made an Indominus Rex? I know I already had the, uh, uh, data for, um, the habitat and all that, but still, I don't really remember making a, uh, Indominus Rex. Okay, uh, everything is really fine. I'll increase the lifespan. Stress is good. Then lifespan can go up a little bit more. And then I'll start incubating that. Okay. I actually need to get rid of this. And then uh, I might as well just get rid of it and then remake it. Alright. Right there. That's good. And then where is... Okay. Okay. That's a lot of feeders that need to be restocked. I'll just do... This, this, and this. Where is the next one? Here we go. You know, I'm not going to have to uh, restock these that often since they're extended, so that's pretty nice. Um, I'll get rid of that path. Is this good? Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> okay, it might be close, though. I might just be able to do it maybe... Eh... Alright, yeah, no, it's not it's not gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna shrink this enclosure just a tiny bit, and then this will be opened up. Okay. Alright, and then what does it think about that? Okay, it's really, really tight, but I think I'll be able to do it. Yes, yes, okay. Now that is big enough, um... I'll, I'll keep the enclosure this size for now. I might be able to put the, I don't know, Indoraptor or something in there. Okay, Giganotosaurus now. Hmm. What, what are the statistics for Giganotosaurus with the modified? Uh, so, three point... Alright, so about 4k, uh, meters squared. Okay, okay, yeah, that, that's, that's good. Alright. So, I'll get the ACU team to to tranquilize this guy and yeah so it's much it's much much less space than the allosaurus so i'm gonna i'm gonna hope that this uh area in there is enough well let's just see how much of this area is okay this this is almost just this is almost enough i could actually probably um uh detach a little bit of this enclosure right here maybe about right here that probably still would be enough it does not require as much space as you would think 
All right, I'm gonna actually do this manually. All right. Oh no, oh no. Why does its music kind of sound like it'd be in Jurassic World Dominion? I don't know why. Okay, my aim is so bad. I'm like a stormtrooper, no! Alright. There we go. So now this whole area can just be completely deleted. Never need to see this again. Alright, and now I actually probably will straighten out this path because this is really, really not good looking at all. Alright, I'll get rid of all these paths here. And then, uh, okay, so I'll bring this out like that. And then, uh, there we go. That, that seems good. Yeah, yeah, that seems good. Alright, uh, there's actually the terrain's kind of not really flat right here, so I'm gonna flatten this all out right here and then actually it's not completely equal so i'm just gonna smoothen it out and hope that it's not really noticeable uh okay so i'll make a shop here a restaurant uh i probably will need a restroom uh, restroom i'm not sure i can probably make a restroom here yeah i can or i can it's probably it's better looking right here okay now a large substation can probably just go right somewhere in here yeah right there that, that's does that even reach does it even reach i'm not uh i don't know if it's going to be able to reach right over there all right There we go. Still no power right there. So I'm just going to do a small substation and put it right in here. And there we go. I can just connect that up right there. Oh, actually, can can I fit a large substation in here? I probably can't. Yeah, I can't. Okay. Well, this whole area has some restaurants now, so that's a good thing. I'll just increase the staff. Now, I just want to see the facility rating. As long as it's five stars, it's good. That, yeah, that's really all that matters. Okay, now I'm going to assume that this is enough space. Yes, that's more than enough. That's great. Um, Are any of these dinosaurs done? The Spinosaurus is nearly finished. Hmm. You know, the Indominus Rex might... Maybe I could just reserve this whole entire area for the Indominus Rex. It might not be a bad idea. So I'm just gonna, um, make a path and bring it all the way down here. And then, hmm, I might, might cut this off a little bit. Alright, and then... Okay. Now it actually... Putting paths right up to fences actually isn't really the um the greatest idea because well it's right up on the fence. You can't put buildings along the fence. So I'm gonna extend it out just like that. And there we go, we got a nice turn right there. Um I'm gonna make a viewing gallery and place it right down here. There we go. Nice. And how much does alright, yeah, the viewing gallery definitely uh needs to be right here. Um, okay, I'm gonna start making the enclosure right here, so, for the Indominus Rex. So, I'm gonna probably, I'll, I'll do this. Yeah, that seems good, and then I can just bring the uh the edge of the enclosure all the way around this area right here and there we go how big how big is this how big 
Oh yeah, that's definitely a huge area. So I can just put that right there. Yeah, I actually I really really like the um the kind of the curve that it has right here. I I like that. It's nice. Okay. Now actually this kind of this whole area kind of goes against my entire rule of not having of not of having uh areas in between uh the carnivore enclosures but i'm just completely going against that i don't know why i just am i'm too lazy and i also really just can't be bothered to uh okay i'll place a emergency shelter right there hopefully nothing hopefully there's not a tornado hopefully there isn't why is there never a tornado look i'm not complaining but it's just okay i don't like that sound okay never mind never mind i take back my statement <laughs> uh well fortunately it looks like uh it's not really going towards the um the carnivore area which i mean you always gotta look at the plus sides um i'm gonna need to get the ranger team on uh these two areas right here fence broken fantastic love to see it uh okay yep mm -mm. this is not really it's it's not ideal i'll i'll admit it's not really ideal at all uh there's a lot of broken things all around here but it, it's fine it's fine it's completely fine um this this is the first storm in like forever wow okay well hopefully it kind of you know, it kind of just disappears in the middle area right here. I can't imagine a storm lasting this long. Uh, you know, like, it's it's already caused a ton of damage. So it's, yeah, kind of kind of needs to calm down, you know. Also, my carnivores are literally going to break out in, in like, two seconds. So, yeah, it, a storm, if you could just not exist very, very soon, that'd be very, very helpful. I would really appreciate it. I'm just, I'm looking for that, um, the storm thing to, uh, to disappear. But I'm gonna get rid of this carnivore feeder. And, and, uh, yep, there we go. Yeah, staying calm is very, very crucial because it stops you from being stupid. <laughs> or, or maybe, yeah, yeah. It stops you from panicking and you won't do stupid things. Life lessons with Ethan. Um, okay. Alright, uh, okay, um, I shouldn't, I can probably release the Indominus Rex next episode and also the Spinosaurus, which is, uh, pretty nice. I actually want to get a screenshot of this, because this actually looks pretty cool. And no, I'm not doing this for the thumbnail. Actually, I might, I might be. But, I mean, come on, you gotta admit, this looks really nice. This, oh yeah, this actually looks really nice. I, I like that a lot. Now, we didn't get the tornado, but, I mean, this tree right here, perfectly placed. Perfectly. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna end off this episode here. We got highlight of the video. We got, uh, our first tornado in a month well actually yeah probably months oh uh, i can't remember the last time we got a tornado all the storms we probably had like 10 storms or something doing this project and and this is the first tornado that we've gotten so so that's nice i mean i'm i'm glad i'm i got pretty lucky because otherwise likely i wouldn't be as far as i am right now I'd probably be, I don't know, close, but, uh, you know, storms always delay things. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye!